Hi guys, um, for those of you who've just joined me, my name's Jan Silver and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond a gastric bypass, which I had 20 weeks ago. Oh, actually, I think I might have just missed my Wednesday 20 week. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I had a gastric bypass at the Berkshire Independent. Um, and yeah, I'm currently not feeling very well. I have just had a dumping syndrome. I know most of you have followed me from whenever, so you know about my bypass and you know about situations that can occur. And I've done so well. I'm really proud of myself on one hand because I've done really well with good choices since I got here. I had a few wines last night and I had salads. And then tonight, I put on my WhatsApp group that I'd undone all the good I'd done. And I know I haven't, but I stupidly thought, oh, I'll have a bit of fruit. And then next to the fruit, oh, there's a shoe bun with cream in it. A bit like a profiterole, I guess. So stupid fathead here went and had one of those. That's not even the worst bit. Because when I bit into it, it had some, I'm not gonna say toffee, but it had some, like syrup but hard so pure bloody sugar and maybe the amount that went into my mouth was about a third of a teaspoon which i really enjoyed mm -mm -mm. nice nice even though i'm not a sweet tooth it was yeah and then oh the bun and the cream just didn't digest so i, I said to becky i need to go upstairs and yeah, I feel, I came upstairs and tried to, you really try and fight this dumping syndrome where you know that there's a funny feeling in your pouch and, you know, sometimes a coffee can move it through. Even walking, I tried that. You feeling like you've got trapped wind constantly and you feel a little bit weak and shaky. But when I came upstairs and I was comfortable out, out of public eye, I guess, I then threw up and... Yeah, it's so a first for me to actually throw up with a dumping. Generally, I would get the foamies and, um, you know, have a bad tummy. I get palpitations, you feel sweaty and dizzy but and have to lie down. But I, I've never actually vomited through a dumping syndrome. And today I did, so that was unusual. And whilst I'm kicking myself on one hand for thing, you know, for, for even touching the bloody dessert thing... On the other hand, I'm really grateful of this tool in my body because it didn't allow the shoe bun to digest. I brought it straight back up again. So it's kind of like the bypass has done its job, hasn't it? I guess. So I'm trying to see the positive in it. I still don't feel 100%, but I'm not going to go back downstairs. I think the time is around 10 o'clock. I think Becky and uh, Lexi will be coming back up again soon. I just thought, you know, I'm trying to be honest with myself as much as you guys. So whilst I don't lie about my alcohol consumption, and last night I drank some shit wine, you know, it, it's an all-inclusive hotel. Um, so you get what they've got, really. And I had quite a few glasses, and this morning... Yes, I went to the gym. I'm really super proud of myself for that. I'm not going to take that away from me. But my head was banging because it was shit wine. So I promised myself tonight I wasn't going to drink that. I had one glass of... Well, I didn't even have a whole glass of Prosecco because I had this feeling already. So, so yeah, but it's a lesson learned, guys. You know, I can't... Yeah salads for two days and then tonight I did think to myself well I'll have some meat and protein and they had some lovely um, chicken in, in a sauce sorry turkey in a sauce which I had quite a few chunks of and I had some um, of the beef like a beef bourguignon which was really nice um, so yeah I had lots of protein tonight so that was good probably haven't got as much water down as I should have done during the day, but I'm trying really hard. Um, I haven't done an awful lot apart from the gym this morning and then chilled out. And I did go and see about hiring a car to go to my dad's on um, Saturday, go to my dad's, go to my dad's grave on Saturday, um, which I hadn't really realized as well. I feel quite emotional about. So kind of makes me miss my husband because you know, he'd come with me to that. So anyway, I'm not gonna get upset. This wasn't what this was about. But, um, yeah, I'm going to hire a car on Saturday and go to Kiss Onaga and, yeah, go and I think the grave will probably be in a bit of a mess because nobody lives here anymore. I'm not sure who came last and had a look at it. 
I need to get a thick marker pen. The last time my daughter came, Chelsea and Max, um, my stepmother's buried on top of my dad and um, she only has a wooden cross and the sun had bleached all of her name out. So Chelsea said, just get a black marker pen, mum and you. So I'm going to do that anyway. So yeah, feeling a little bit emotional about that. First day of my period today. So it's not taking away the shine for what I'm feeling here because it's just... I haven't got to do anything. I'm just relaxing. I've got a holiday, you know, it's loving spending time with my friend Becky and her daughter Lexi, who is absolutely hilarious. Um, and, you know, this the, the girl's wedding that we're going to tomorrow is one of Becky's friends from school. And there's going to be about 50 people here travelled from the UK to this beautiful five-star hotel for the, her wedding. I mean, how lovely is that? How lovely that at 40 years old she's got seven or eight of her school friends from you know so yeah it's a really nice atmosphere here everybody's really really happy and you know I don't want my emotions to bring anybody down so I was kind of like oh damn I feel a bit teary and yeah so anyway I will do what I always do and put my big girl panties on and just go and do it but I thought I'll have I'll enjoy the wedding myself tomorrow even though she's not my friend um, it's such a beautiful location you, you wouldn't want not want to and then on Saturday when they're all hung over I'm going to get in a car and, and I think not just go and see my dad's grave I think it'll be a little bit of a trip down memory lane for me um, so I'll drive about a few places that I used to go to and just remind myself so yeah I should have guessed it was going to be a bit tough hey <sighs> and bloody period so I'm blaming these tears on period stupid body God's sake, anyway. I hope you're all really well. I hope no one else is having a dumping syndrome. Like I said, normally get the foamies. I don't normally actually throw up. And if I can be quite graphic, because that's just me and that's part of me telling my journey. It was like throwing up ice cream and I hadn't eaten ice cream. So my pouch hadn't even led the shoe bun and the cream to digest. It was just there. And the next thing, it's in the toilet. And I was like, wow, that was like ice cream. I haven't tasted ice cream for yonks. Anyway, I'm trying to leave it on a, on a, on a lighter note. I don't want anybody to think that I'm, you know, think, ugh. I'm trying to leave it on a lighter note. Now, I hope you're all really, really well. And I hope today has been kind to you, whatever day it is. I'm on holiday. I don't even know the day. I don't normally actually do. I, that's a load of bullshit. <sighs> I'm going to leave you all now because this is seven minutes. 50 seconds of me just gabbling about throwing up and vomiting ice cream. Nice, I didn't even eat ice cream. Take care. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.